of the Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 vaccine is still up in the air this morning. A CDC panel held an emergency meeting yesterday, but did not decide what is next for the vaccine's use. The recommendation to pause J&J shot follows six patients who had severe blood clots after taking the shot out of almost 7 million people. It's important to note if you get COVID, your chance of getting a blood clot is actually thousands of times greater than those who do not get the virus. Indiana has suspended its use of the J&J vaccine as recommended. All six cases occurred in white women ages 18 through 48. The median time for symptoms are arising roughly eight days. In total, two point or 7.2 million people have had the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. The company's chief medical officer saying the benefits of their COVID-19 vaccine still outweigh the adverse reactions. Based on the current data, Johnson believes the overall benefit risk profile for a vaccine is positive across the population for which it's authorized. We strongly support ensuring vaccine, a vaccine awareness of the signs and symptoms of this very rare event as well as the recommendations to ensure the correct diagnosis, treatment, and reporting by healthcare professionals. The CDC emphasizes the actual reason behind the pause is to alert public health officials and physicians on how to better diagnose and then treat the specific blood clotting. Indiana health officials urge that you still go to your appointments if you're set to get the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Instead, you'll get the Pfizer or the Moderna shot.